Lauren, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday and I decided to vlog today. <laughs> So if you're new to my channel, hey, how are you? I'm Lauren, uh, I'm originally from Ottawa, Ontario, and just about a month ago now, uh, my boyfriend David and I moved to Edmonton, Alberta. So if you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit like on this video so that I know that you enjoy what you're watching. David and I are going to Jasper, Alberta this weekend. Uh, I'm just waiting for him to get home. Oh, hold on, we have a nibs. <laughs> She always has to be a part of it. Reese isn't here right now because he's in doggy daycare. We're dropping Nibs off to get watched once David gets back. And then we're making the four hour drive to Jasper. It's gonna be a pretty drive too, I believe, because we're gonna see the mountains. Uh, we're there till Sunday because David is hosting an event with his work. If you didn't know, he works for uh, 104.9 Virgin Radio here in Edmonton. He hosts the morning show. So I thought, let's vlog today. Let's do it. Let's show you what Jasper has to offer. Um, he'll be a bit tied down with the hosting, but I think we're gonna have enough free time to do some fun stuff. So you'll definitely have to come along with us for that. But yeah, I'm just sitting here. I have to pack still. I haven't done that yet. It's been a busy morning, but I'm drinking a smoothie, a Revive Organics. Oh, I haven't even put the lid on right. Fix that, there we go. This one is Hazy Coco. We went to the Ariana Grande concert last night, so I'm feeling tired, so I just want that extra boost of coffee. And this one sounds so good, it tastes so good. It has banana, zucchini, chickpea, cold brew coffee, cacao, vega protein, hazelnut butter, medjool dates, and pink Himalayan salt. And oh my gosh, it's like a freaking milkshake. But I'm gonna sign off for now. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher, and then I think I'm gonna start packing. I hope. <laughs> okay, so I'm being a typical girl and I'm overpacking like crazy. But I'm just thinking like, I'm thinking of the Instagram, guys. I'm thinking of the Instagram because if there's mountains, if it's a new town, if it's pretty, I want some shots. So I'm kind of laying out some outfits. Um, I'm trying to think like mountain vibes too. So I've got like some flannel. Uh, I have three different pairs of jeans. So I have black light and then the medium wash and then this kind of long sleeve longer shirt i have a little like bomber style jacket cardigan kind of thing uh, my flannel just a cozy sweater another kind of cozy sweater i'm just trying to be cozy but i'm thinking like i'm also trying to think of things that i haven't taken photos with Looking at my closet, I know it looks like a lot, but I need some like spring stuff. But it's also not gonna be spring weather. It's gonna be, like I think it's got, it's, wah. Can you tell I'm tired? I think they have snow. And it's gonna be a little cool. <sighs> I was kind of thinking this like turtleneck maybe, but I feel like that's so fall. I don't know if any of you even care about this, but this is the struggle that I'm having is thinking of the Instagram. Good morning from Jasper, Alberta. Hi. We uh, we got in last night, we got in pretty late, and it was funny, we were trying to find a place to eat dinner, and we got in at around 10, and like Every there was closed. one restaurant yeah. open. <laughs> Every single restaurant closed at nine or 10, it was funny. But we got some pizza from Jasper Pizza House? Place. House. Oh. No, they said JPP. Jasper Pizza Place. Jasper Pizza Place, it was really good. Um, went to bed. I was hoping to sleep in, but David got us up at seven because he thought we had to be somewhere for nine, but we don't have to be anywhere till 10.45. Probably 11. But we're all ready now. We're gonna go find a place to eat breakfast. I think I found a place that does gluten-free. I think it's called Coco's Place. Um, also, it snowed in Edmonton last night. Yeah, like a lot. Like a lot. We're not gonna make it home because I put my summer tires on and they're on their last season. So wish us luck. <laughs> But yeah, let's go explore Jasper. Okay, so we just came out of, you can see it right there, Snow, what is it? Snow Dome Coffee, Snow Dome Coffee Bar. And Coin Laundry. It's, it's a... Laundromat. <laughs> we're, we're vlogging and walking and we shouldn't be. But it's a, 
It's apparently Jasper's best coffee. And laundromat. And laundromat. It smelled amazing in there. It smelled like cinnamon. Um, so I got peanut butter, chocolate chip cookies, and then I got a little Americano, and I feel like I need to try it and see if it is the best coffee. Because I just had coffee from a place, and it wasn't amazing. I'm not a fan of acidic, lighter roasts, and I think that's what it was, so it's not necessarily that the coffee was bad, it was just that I didn't like it. David had an orange juice. Okay, I'm gonna try. I really don't like the acidic orange juices. It's more of like a freshly squeezed kind of person. That's smooth. Thank God. That's a good Americano. Snow Dome, you did it right. Okay, so a little bit embarrassing, but I, after I finished filming that video, David, David looked at me and he's like, you have jam on your face. So I guess right under here, I had jam. So I apologize for that. But this is a damn good Americano. Snow Dome. Um, so it is almost 10 o'clock now. David just went into Tim Hortons to get himself an ice cap. And then I think we're gonna drive to the base of the mountain because David's hosting a run for Pride. Um, they're doing like a big Pride festival in Jasper this weekend um, and David's radio station is one of the sponsors for it so he's hosting a run with another uh, girl from his station Amy and um, yeah we're going up to like the middle of the mountain I don't really know but we're gonna go it's about a half hour drive from here so we're gonna head out once David comes back with his ice cap <sighs> yeah I'm excited it's cool. So we're at Mid Mountain right now at Mount, what is it, Marmot Basin? Am I saying that right? Sounds about right. Um, I just took a snowmobile for the first time in my life. You make it sound like you like took off with it. Like no. I found the keys and I... I was, the, I was the second person on the snowmobile and I didn't, I was like, do I hold on to you? Or... <laughs> and he's like, Guys no. Like... <laughs> and then when we were, we, were, we were about to go, he was like, he was like, just let me know if I'm going too fast for you. And I was like, okay. And then I think we were going 30 seconds, and I was like, too fast, too fast, <laughs> slow down. <sighs> but yeah, David's hosting a Pride event here. We just met the Virgin Street team, Levi and Wyatt. Super nice. And I think I'm going to have to have a hot chocolate at some point. But it's fun so far. We're just in here warming up from the 30 seconds he spent on a snowmobile. It was like five minutes on a snowmobile, okay? And it was scary. guys we found some bears are you ready for this we're at the Fairmont um, Jasper Lodge it's like one of the Fairmont hotels and we found some bears can you believe it David there are bears right behind you are you scared I don't want to be a part of your videos anymore all right, it is Sunday. We just, uh, we slept in a little bit because we were up really late last night because David was hosting a pride party. Um, and then we went to breakfast at this really good place called Wicked Cup. I had like a granola yogurt berry dish. David had just a classic eggs and hash browns and sausage breakfast. It's not as easy to find as you might think. No. The place we went yesterday just was just normal, so fancy. Give me a normal breakfast. I just want normal. Yeah. But it's so beautiful. It's clear. You can see the mountains today. I'll try to show you some. Uh, and we're heading back because we have to go get uh, Reese before 4 o'clock today. But this was a really good taste of Jasper. Like, what did you say? We dipped our toes in. Pretty much, Because yeah. we were, the weather was really bad yesterday, so we couldn't do too much exploring. Like, you couldn't see anything. Um... But this was a really good first first time, and then next time David won't be working. We'll come in the spring, the summer. I think it's gonna be good. But now it's time to head home and see our animals. I'm so excited. But we're gonna see animals on the way. Yes. I want to see more elk. We saw mountain goats on our way, and I wanna see a bear, and, and the, like the rams with the horns. Look at 
this. We just pulled over to, to get some photos. Oh my gosh, this is just beautiful. Hold on. <laughs> are you enjoying this, David? Yeah. Where are you? Say hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> the man behind the camera. Hi. <laughs> We've just been stopping at like every lookout. It's just so beautiful. It's because when you're driving, anyone who's ever done a trip like this, you drive, you're like, okay, let's pull over at this lookout. Oh, this is beautiful. You take a couple of pictures, you drive like five kilometers down and then there's another lookout that's better than the last one. You're like, oh, we'll just pull over here. We'll pull over here. And then every lookout is better than the last. Yeah. But we're stopping. We're doing it. So we have one member of our family back, Reese. <sighs> we just picked him up. Now we're off to get nibbies. And then my heart will be whole. And then we're going home and never leaving again. What, I'm not enough? No. <laughs> 